Yasharala, turn your speakers up when you ride to this size of mock shot. Yasharala, who you vibing with? K's always claim to be the Jews, but they counterfeit. Jeremiah say the Jew black. So who is this? Not the salt of the earth and the curses don't fit. Want a one world government, but we ain't supposed to mix. We get next, yes sir. And we gon' take them captives who captives we were. See the master of the task. Used to hit us with a lash. Now we cock it back and blast. Say so you wanna get alone, but y'all require the past. How they did it to our four parents, we gonna do they ass. I just love it, other nations count as nothing. I was sent to stop the wonder, so that's why we blow the trumpet. Alright, Shalom. I want to say Kahala, Yah, Bashem, Ashak, Yah, Shah. To our Abinawa, Shalom, Lakata, to all the Israelites. Alright, much love and blessings to the elders of Israel. Alright, double honors to the elders of Israel. Much love to the brothers walking in truth and sincerity. In the name of the Father and the Son, which is Yah, Bashem, Yah, Shah, in the Hebrew. Alright, today's lesson is going to be um, a little quick lesson on a. Uh, the tribe of Ephraim, which are the so-called Puerto Ricans today, which uh, I'm going to show a curse out the Bible, proving that you're Israelites according to the Bible, and uh, you got to repent, keep the Most High's commandments. All right, so this is Deuteronomy 28:15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. To observe to do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High said, if you don't listen and keep follow his his his, his statutes and commandments, the Torah, the Torah, you know what I'm saying, um, these curses will come upon you and uh, overtake you, be be more than you can handle. You know, it'll it'll be burdensome these curses. Um, Okay, so that's if we didn't keep God's commandments, you know what I'm saying? He said that, it, that uh, you know, these curses will come upon you and overtake you. So we're going to go to the, one of the curses. It's, uh, I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 28 and, uh, hmm, right here, Deuteronomy 28 and 22. It says, the Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Okay, so the point that I wanted to get out of there is uh, and with an inflammation. So the Most High was going to smite our people with inflammation. That's, that's one of the curses, you know what I'm saying? to read to know who the Israelites are because when we go down to um, Deuteronomy 28 and what's that uh, it's like there Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 48 which says therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies oh it's like there. it ain't 48 is it oh 46 so like there. Deuteronomy 28 and 46 and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thine seed forever. What is that referring to? The curses being upon our people for a sign and a wonder. So you will wonder who these people are and you will know who these people are. That's why these curses are on our people to let you know who you are according to the Bible. The Hebrew Israelites. Um, so that's verse 46 it says. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for uh, wonder, and upon thy seed forever. That's why it says, uh, I'll go to 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Why do, these, why do these curses come upon our people? Because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Yahweh Alahayakah, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So that's why these curses are on our people, and they shall be a sign on our people, and a wonder to let you know who these people is. You know, like 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 I said in my song, man. You know, the, the, uh, who is the Jews? The curses they indicate. You know, these these curses is an indication of who you, who are the Hebrew Israelites when you read the Bible. So I'm gonna go down back down to Deuteronomy 22. 
It's like the Deuteronomy 28, verse 22. And it says, uh, The Lord shall smite thee with consumption and with inflammation. So, that's why I got this scripture, Deuteronomy 28, 22. Because the Most High is smitten, our, smiting our people with inflammation. And we're going to see who's getting smitten with inflammation, according to the scriptures. Uh, what's that Hebrew word? Dalakwath. Dalakwath. Okay, look that up. And it says inflammation. That's it, really. Uh, burning fever, inflammation. I'm burning fever. Where's well, this inflammation? Good at that different, different national uh, asthma. But let's see what it says. I don't asthma. This is from Wikipedia. Dot com. It says asthma is a common learn long term inflammatory. So asthma is inflammation. Like when we go back to Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 22, it says, you know, what I'm saying, you smite you with inflammation. Asthma is a common long term inflammatory disease of the airways and of the lungs. It is characterized by variable and recurring. Symptoms, reversible airflow, obstructions, and bronchial spasm. If I said that wrong, all right, slightly. Symptoms include episodes of wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. These episodes may occur with a few times a day or a few times per week, depending on the person they become they may become worse at night or with exercise so as we can see asthma is clearly you know what I'm saying inflammation okay but it's inflammation of what the airwaves of the lungs you know most, most high is messing our people up man for our wickedness now, let me go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 22 real quick it says uh he shall smite thee with a consumption with a fever and inflammation so that's that's dealing with uh you know there's many ways you know the most high can put inflammation on a person but this is one of the ways that i'm showing which one of the ways that the most high is hitting our people with uh th that curse of inflammation is through asthma which is a uh, a common long-term inflammatory disease of the airwaves of the lungs okay and let's see who's mainly being affected by this I'm going to go to uh, this website called uh, minorityhealth.hhs.gov slash omh slash browse dot asbx or whatever. But it says OMH which stands for Office of Minority Health, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Office of Minority Health. It says asthma in Hispanic Americans. In 2014, 2.1 million Hispanics reported that they currently have asthma. Puerto Rican Americans have almost twice the asthma rate as compared to the overall Hispanic population. So it's, it's, it's mainly, you know what I'm saying, on, the, on Ephraim. You know what I'm saying? Because Ephraim is the head of the Northern Kingdom, man. Just like Judah is the head... Of the southern kingdom man it says hispanics are 60 percent more likely to visit the hospital for asthma as compared to non-hispanic whites so they say the uh the regular uh latinos are 60 percent more likely to go to the hospital for asthma when you compare it to people that ain't hispanic You know what I'm saying which is dealing with Edomites it says uh, Puerto Rican children are three times more likely to have asthma as compared to non-Hispanic whites Hispanic children are twice as likely to die from asthma as compared to non-Hispanic whites it says uh, while all of the causes of asthma remain unclear 
the reason from asthma is for the curses. The scripture says these curses will come upon our people and overtake us. It says, uh, as compared to non-Hispanic whites, it says, uh, while all other causes of asthma remain unclear, children exposed to secondhand tobacco smoke exposure are at increased risk for accurate lower respiratory tract infections such as bronchitis. Children leaving below the near poverty level are more likely to have levels of high blood. God, I don't know how to say that, but uh, you know, the point is it says uh, Puerto Rican Americans have almost twice asthma rate as compared to the overall Hispanic population. So really, it's not them Edomites that's catching it, man, because the Edomites ain't none of the curses. It's you, you Puerto Ricans, man. You bought Equa. You know what I'm saying? And I got a, uh, one more little information from uh, something I printed off. I've been holding on to it. I'm going to bring out. It says, asthma is a common learned term inflammatory disease of the airways of the lungs. Okay, we already seen that from Wikipedia. So we, this is another source from, uh, what's this? www.aafa.org. Asthma facts and figures. It said asthma causes swelling of the airwaves, which is inflammation, which inflammation is like uh, swelling, basically. The results in narrowing of the airwaves that carry air from the nose and mouth to the lungs. Uh, from the mouth and lungs, it says uh, allergens. Allergens of irritating things entering the lungs trigger asthma symptoms. Symptoms include trouble breathing, wheezing and coughing, and tightness in the chest. In severe cases, asthma can be deadly, which is a curse. There is no cure for asthma. Why? Because it's a curse. But asthma can be managed with proper prevention and treatment. More Americans than ever have asthma it is one of this country's most common and costly diseases it says this is from the, this website uh, www.aafa.org asthmafacts.aspx okay it says there's um, what ethnic groups have higher asthma rates let me see if I can put this up maybe that will be a little better if I do it like that what ethnic groups have higher asthma rates? CAAFA's groundbreaking research report on disparities in asthma care. It was published with National Pharmaceutical Council. It says, uh, um, well, I was trying to finish this other video, I already cut off, so. I'm gonna start where I yeah, start when I end it. It's likely I'm gonna start from where I ended off at. Um, it says the rate of asthma of the prevalence of asthma attacks is highest among Puerto Ricans compared to all ethnic groups. So asthma is highest in Puerto Ricans. Asthma is 80% higher in Puerto Ricans than whites. About 3 million Hispanics in the U.S. have asthma. So, uh, you know, this is a curse for you Latinos, man. Asthma. The rate of asthma have prevalence of asthma attacks is highest among Puerto Ricans. Why is it highest among Puerto Ricans? Because it's the curses, man. You know, he, he said 2.1 million Hispanics reported they were currently having asthma. Puerto Rican Americans have almost twice the asthma rate compared to the overall Hispanic population. So, you Latinos are being plagued and smitten with uh, asthma, which is a curse from the Heavenly Father, which is inflammation of the lungs. Which, you know, he said in verse 15, you know, these curses will come upon us. And then in verse uh, 45, he said, you know, this could happen because of the curses. In verse 46, it says, uh, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So the curse of asthma is upon the, tri the tribe 
of Ephraim, the, the Latinos, for a sign and for a wonder that you may wake up to be a Hebrew Israelites. And another thing, I'm going to uh, pull out this real quick because uh something else I want to get off of here. Deuteronomy 28 and 60, it says, Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. So, one of the diseases of Egypt were, was asthma. Even, you know, you can go to Wikipedia and let you know that. Okay? Which proves the Latinos are Israelites. You know, the curses bear witness, man. This is, uh... And from Wikipedia, in 2013, 242 million people globally had a, had asthma from 183 million in 1990. It caused about 489,000 deaths in 2013, most of which occurred in the developing world. Right here is the point I want to get. It says asthma was recognized as early as ancient Egypt. It's from Wikipedia. Asthma was recognized as early as ancient Egypt. Okay, so we're going to go to Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Close it out. Hopefully, you brothers and sisters were edified. Hopefully, you Northern Kingdom brothers wake up to being Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Ephraim and help wake up the Northern Kingdom. Man. Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Shalom l'ka, abonawi ha'ba shema, shakel rasha, rakzah l'kam, ya'ba shem, 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 ya'